I hit it just about any time, but uh, especially when the, the rows start to really cover over and you get the humidity mm -hmm. underneath that plastic too. And it just kills the, the fungus, just kills it right here at the base. Oh, not that. It's an opposite waterfall. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That was Real. one of Alvin used to have a heat breather. Where is it? Let me see. See? See how there's that white yeah. fungus right there? Yeah. And then you can see the little tan, little sclerotia, the little, little tiny mustard seeds scattered up and down. Yeah. I mean, they're just big. Sixteenth of an inch or less. Tiny. And so what are they? They rolled up and then That's the little propagule that sticks around in the soil and that germinates like a seed next year and affects the next plant. Mm. So you don't want these to fall into the soil. It's like a little cannonball that's just waiting to explode next year. So they were there last year then? Oh yeah. All these soils pretty much have it pretty well distributed. And a certain number of them germinate when it gets wet and dry cycles. During so you can't treat those? You really can't. Um, you can rotate away from it. Yeah, that's really... You, but it, and once the plants... Once you see this against the stem, it's over. Pull the plant and get rid of it. Okay, so to break that up, what would you use the following year then? In the same place? The following year, definitely don't plant leaves. Uh-huh. Don't plant... You know, some grass crop would be good. Mm -hmm. um, but not beans or... So like like sunflower or sorghum or something different or probably really something like sweet corn. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. You gotta have a brain for <laughs>